What's up guys and the destruction is here. We may be looking at the first glimpse of the next big thing that is Samsung XAMD in direct comparison to Apple A14 chip. Plus we have a surprise comeback news on a Samsung smartphone that we have only seen once in a lifetime. Samsung is very serious about becoming the number one in the game and to achieve that they have to beat Apple. So according to this news coming from South Korea we have some new benchmarks of the unnamed Exynos chip set which is under development with AMD graphics. This is the early performance comparison leak compared to the Apple A14 and you can see the number difference is insane. We have almost twice the score in graphical performance on this new unnamed Exynos chip in comparison to the A14 on the iPhone 12 Pro. Again this is a GFX benchmark looking completely at the GPU performance and wow I have to say this is looking pretty dominating. It's actually in line with the current rumors that Samsung could announce this Exynos AMD chip in the second half of this year. Which means we're gonna see a lot more leaks regarding this chip in the coming days. But this early performance is mind-blowing. That difference is insane. Samsung cannot rival Apple or even Qualcomm if they just stick with using the Melee GPUs. Samsung has nailed the CPU side of the things. It's a little bit stronger than Snapdragon 888 but it falls short when it comes to GPU. Still massive improvement compared to last year's chip. They absolutely need AMD and from the looks of this it's looking like absolute insane performance is coming. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Also in the news, Galaxy A82, the successor to the Samsung Galaxy A80. If you guys remember that phone with the rotating camera system, it was one of the coolest thing on a Samsung smartphone ever. We didn't see a successor to that smartphone, but this year, maybe that year that Samsung finally updates that, maybe with better internals and perhaps even better rotating camera mechanism. Now some inside reports on the sales performance of the Galaxy S21 series. According to ELEC, Samsung has set a goal of 26 million units for the whole Galaxy S21 lineup. This number is definitely a lot lower than Galaxy S9 and S10 series, but it is in line with last year's Galaxy S20 lineup. Maybe Samsung's ultimate goal is to hit the spotlight on Galaxy Fold series. According to rumors, we could see three foldable phones with Galaxy Z Flip Lite, Z Flip 3, and Galaxy Z Fold 3. And last Last but not the least, Samsung's biggest rival Huawei has finally responded to the latest rumors. It was reported on Reuters that Huawei could sell its mobile business, specifically their high-end P and Mate series, to which Huawei has officially issued a statement to Chinese media saying that they have no plans on selling their mobile business and they will continue to make high-end smartphones. That is indeed a good news whether you like them or not because we've already seen LG exiting the smartphone business. So yeah, it's not nice. Huawei needs to be there. They do some great things with their smartphones, whether they have have Android or not. So that's all the latest news. Samsung is looking to absolutely crush Apple with their brand new AMD GPU that is coming with the future Exynos chip. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Again, if you guys don't know already, I'm giving away a Galaxy S21. For that, rules are mentioned in the description. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.